today's the last full day I'm feeding all the sheep. My plan is to have at least half of them on pasture tomorrow. This is the last group that was weaned. The lambs are in here, the ewes are over there. And I usually like to dry them off about a 14 day period and we're on day 10 right now. Um, and I start with just pure straw and then you could either use like a poor quality hay or a straw silage blend to kind of wean them off of that. I can make straw and silage cheaper than I can sell hay for. Um, so I usually just blend like a third silage, two thirds straw for the, and then slowly increase the silage as we go. Um, but today I'm gonna seal up my silage pile because I'm not gonna be using it anymore. The other ewes that are down below there, the first group, they've been on pure silage for the past month and the grass is ready now, they're, they're gonna get turned out. So don't need the silage anymore. I'm hoping it preserves it somewhat decent. And like I said, we're on day 10. I'd like about four more days of, uh, of a rougher forage in them just to make sure their udders dry off completely. So I'm gonna use up uh, some reed canary grass that I have and I'll just put it through the mixer here just to cut it up a little bit and we'll go from there. So and they're not really happy about it. They would like better quality feed, but uh, I need them to thin up. I need their bags to shrink down before they go out onto lush green grass. So this is the poor quality hay that I'm giving them. Um, it's good maintenance ration. It's not that poor. Uh, it is nice and green and leafy and fibrous. There's just not a lot of nutritional value in it like there would be in an alfalfa blend, but the rams are eating it right now. There's just four rams in here and I'm gonna switch them onto a nice mixed alfalfa hay here as soon as this bale is used up, but it's a pretty busy day. Uh, I've got to finish piling manure and then hopefully this evening check fences so tomorrow I can turn sheep out. All right, I got this silage pile all sealed up. Um, I should have videoed it, I apologize for that, but basically all I did is I had been rolling the plastic back and so I unrolled it, put it flat on the ground and then I put, uh, piled this manure slash dirt on the front of it. Just sucks it down nice and tight and it's important to dump it from the top so it kind of slides down and pulls the air out with it as it settles. This is pretty nice and tight. It's very similar to what the plastic is like when it's on it to begin with. And with the nice dirt on the ground here, there's no air that's gonna get in there. It's not ideal. Um, I expect some spoilage on the face, but I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. So in August, when we start silaging, we'll just see what it looks like here. Um, there's a couple pinholes on the face of the plastic, just where I caught it with the grapple or something. And I'll get those taped up and ready to go, but we're gonna get back to piling more manure here. these wooden sheds um, there's no room I can't just pull it off of this manure pile if I pull out it's just gonna break so I kind of have to try and dig it out and then I got to get these fence posts and I jack the one side up here and then I can put the fence posts under it and then kind of like pivot the whole thing off the steel sheds are stronger and they have uh, an opening on either end so it just clears right off of the manure these are not great, but this is the last year I have wooden sheds. They've served me well for the years I've had them, uh, but the second I can afford something better, I'm going to.
Farley there. I got, a, I got it jacked up here, got the chains on it, got the posts under it, so now in theory we just pull it off and it should be smooth. All right, I got uh, the whole shed jacked up off this manure pile, and then got posts put under. I got four posts, so hopefully it should just slide right off of this. And with any luck, I won't pull this shed apart completely, but this shed was pretty much done for when my grandpa quit farming, and that was uh, before I started farming. So just gotta hang on for this year, and then it's going to the auction, because someone will pay big dollars for this beautiful piece of wooden art. All right, let's see what happens here. Just like that, so we'll pile all this up, put it in the manure pile, and then that should be uh, it for this pen. Now we're gonna go check some fence. I'm hoping to put, well, more than hoping, I have to put sheep out tomorrow because uh, I closed the silage pile up yesterday. So we're gonna have to turn them on grass and we got some steps we have to take before we do that. I've got the fencing essentials. Use my Milwaukee staple gun because uh, hammers are for peasants. Extra parts and a little bit extra electric wire if I need it. All right, so here's my fence. I've talked about this before, page wire and just to keep the sheep away from the wire because they like to get their heads stuck in it, um, I put an electric strand on the inside of the whole fence. It's here. So before sheep go out, I just go around and make sure that the electric strand is attached to the fence post, and uh, as long as it's free and clear, then we shouldn't have any electrical issues. When I built this fence, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm gonna use this style of uh, holder. All it is is there's a nail through here, you can see and what happens is they fall off like this one did because the nail doesn't stick out far enough. So, buy these ones instead. They have holes on the top and bottom and you can screw them. I usually just staple them with my gun because uh, that makes me feel special. So I finished doing all the fencing yesterday. Uh, it's the next day here. It's crazy, crazy windy. 
so all you'd hear is wind noise, but I moved the, the there was about nine ewes with lambs from the barn uh, out to pasture. I'm gonna try and put lambs on the pasture for the first time. I've got, I think there's eight lambs or so left, um, and they're really little. They're too young to wean, and I thought I'm just gonna try putting them out on grass and see how they do this summer, see if there's any errors in my fence. That would uh, be a problem for having lambs on ewes in the summer if I do that in the future. So it's kind of my trial run, but Got everything set up and we're gonna go turn the sheep out to grass for the first time. I thought I'd video that. Dumb ones. They have to go around the feed bunks to get out, but they can't figure that out. Hey! 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 Let's go! Come on! Come on! Hey! Hey! Come on! All right, well, that's the first day of pasture. It's kind of a breath of fresh air as well, at least one group I don't have to wake up and feed every day, which is kind of nice. It's a lot cheaper. So we'll get the second group out here probably in another week or so. I just want them on some rougher hay to dry off before I can get them out. But uh, that's it for the day.